All right, tonight the World Series gets underway from Fenway. Chris Sale and Clayton Kershaw will be on the mound. Dodgers, Red Sox, game one tonight, 7.30 Eastern on Fox. Skip and Shannon are going to make their predictions later. <laughs> but let's get back to the NFL. All right, seven-time Pro Bowl cornerback Patrick Peterson reportedly wants out of Arizona. He has asked for a trade, and the Saints, Eagles, and Patriots are reportedly showing interest with New Orleans being the, quote, ideal situation. But his coach, Steve Wilkes, said yesterday, quote, we're not trading Patrick. That's out of the question. The trade deadline is a week from today. Shannon, which team will bid the most for Peterson? Well, given the history, Skip, it seems like Philly will spare no expense. That's how they got Carson Wentz. They mortgaged a lot they to did. get him. Yeah. Now, they were able to recoup some of that with the Sam Bradford with their quarterback getting hurt in Minnesota. They did. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater. So they're able to recoup one of those first-round mm -hmm. picks back when they traded uh, Sam Bradford to Minnesota. So we know they'll 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 spend money. Uh, mm -hmm. They traded for Jay Ajayi uh, during the season. So Harry Roseman has no problem giving up draft picks. Now, the Saints, looking at this, the Saints d does not have a first-round pick. Yep. So that makes, you know, going to get things very interesting. Mm -hmm. The Patriots. Not only do they have a first-round pick, they have two twos and yep. three threes. They do. So they have ammunition. But Coach Belichick is very, very hesitant to give up that ammunition. I mean, he gave up a fifth rounder for Josh Gordon, but he got some compensation coming back. Mm -hmm. So Pat Peterson's from Florida. Played at LSU. Played in Arizona. Hmm. He's eight years in. Mm -hmm. Does he want to go? I know, hey, great chance to win in, in uh, New England. But is he going to want to practice in that cold? Does he want to play in that cold November, December, and January? Interesting. New Orleans played his college ball in New Orleans, mm -hmm. LA, Baton, Rouge, Baton Rouge, right down yeah. the street. Mm -hmm. Indoors. Carolina, Tampa. Weather's nice. They got a great, great chance. If I'm New Orleans, once I find out what the market is, mm -hmm. and if it's within my reach, I'm going to do the deal. Yeah. Because let me tell you why, Skip. The two teams that could cause me the most problems, Minnesota, they have Adam Thielen, they have Stephon Diggs. They do. The Los Angeles Rams, mm. they have Cooper Larry, Cup, Larry. they have Brandon Cooks. So and you Robert, got Lattimore. Robert Woods. Robert, Robert Woods. You got Lattimore. You need to pair him somebody on the opposite of him you do. so you can try and help neutralize. That's true. So I think all things being equal, Philly would make the biggest offer. But if I'm New Orleans, whatever it's going to take within reason, I'm going to do this deal because mm. I'm going for it mm. right now. I'm going for it right, right now. Like what you said. Don't see it happening. I'm going to say it again. I live in fear of the next bulletin out of Philadelphia thanks to Howie <laughs> Roseman because Howie Roseman has dominated pro football for the last really three years in building that Super Bowl champion mm -hmm. last year. He knows exactly what the Dallas Cowboy brass knew 24 hours ago. This division is just begging for somebody to take hold of it and run off with it. Mm -hmm. And now he needs to make an anti-Amari move. And the classic one would be to trump the Amari move <laughs> by going and getting Pat, Pat a, a, a young man. He's still a young man at 28. The young tw Just turned 28 this just summer. Turned, just turned 28. Seven years, seven Pro Bowls, three first-team All-Pros. I, I love this young man. Mm -hmm. I respect him. I got to know him a little bit at the other network. He's he's class and quality, mm -hmm. and he is a football player. Yep. He can play at the highest level. The bigger the game, the more he's going to rise and shine. And he can return punts. He can if if you ask him to, and he ne the team needs him to. He is highly capable. He only ran four three at the combine. <laughs> four, four three four, six one two zero oh, three. He's. He, he's in that con again. There's only one Deion Sanders, right. and then the next slight echelon down is Darrell Revis. Mm -hmm. But he's getting in that Revis territory mm -hmm. to me. That's how good he wow. is when he's when he really cares about something. And it's been hard for him over the years in Arizona to really care. Yeah, it's hard for a guy of that caliber to yep. uh, uh, stay for a rebuild. I kind of feel bad for Larry Fitzgerald I also because he's a guy that's been there for an extremely long yeah. time. And they're not going to win this year. And I don't believe they're going to win for the very few foreseeable yeah. future. But I don't know if Fitz, that doesn't strike me as Fitz saying, I want out. I'm here. He, you know, Lanford. It's a different situation with Pat Peterson. Mm -hmm. I think Pat really wanted to stay in, in, in Arizona, but he wants to win. Mm -hmm. And he knows he will be judged differently if he were to get to and get on a winning team. Mm -hmm. I think we would look at Dion differently had he spent his entire career in Atlanta as opposed to going to Seattle. 
not Seattle, San Fran winning the title, going to Dallas. Because wherever he want, went, he swung the pendulum. Mm-hmm. You got him, you won the skip, you won him, you won the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Cause he took, you know, he took the best receiver on the other side and says, okay, y'all go play football. I got this guy. Mm-hmm. So I fully expect Howie Roseman to pull this off because he's got an extra two to play with. Oh, Gil- you are you are upset now. Huh? No, I am. You I just upset. see it coming. I'm, I'm gonna head it off the pass. I'm gonna just Howie. predict it. Oh, Howie T about to do okay. this deal. Well, come on, Howie T. Howie T and Dougie P. Yeah, Doug, yeah. Dougie P's coming apart. He's no, 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 no. Howie P. needs to go what save about your his guy? coach. What about your guy going up forward on fourth down? After, after his owner goaded him into oh, it. please. Goaded him. My guy's Tom Brady. No, yeah, no, 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 no. And my guy, you Tom look- Brady, he, he needs this guy, Patrick Peterson, more than anybody out there because his defense is deplorable. Okay. It, it is pathetic. I'm going to say it again. Bill Belichick's defense has given up the second most second-half points of anybody in the NFL so far. That's not good. Okay. And, again, Who's out there for them? You were t- talking about Adam Thielen and, and all the Rams receivers. How about the Kansas City receivers, right? Okay. <laughs> so you got Stephon Gilmore, who was the prize of the cornerback yeah. market a year ago. So you got Gilmore. And now what? You got Eric Rowe. You got the, you got. He doesn't J- even start. I don't Jason, think he starts J- anymore. Jason McCourty has been starting, but he's been playing. Eric Rowe plays the slot yeah. corner. Yeah. But, but, but my point is. You, you don't have the other guy opposite him. And if you had Patrick Peterson and you could go to Kansas City where they just might have to go yeah. Yeah. with Patrick Peterson and Stephon Gilmore, yeah. would you have maybe a chance yeah. to hang in? Yeah. Right. And, and Peterson's contract is really, really friendly. It's I mean, he's good. under contract through 2020. Yeah. So that's and, and it's not big, big. It's not it's, overwhelming. It's, it's 11-9 next year and 13-2 the next year. And, and, and so that means the cap normally goes up like 10 to $12 million a year. Yeah. So that's going to be chicken fees. Okay. But so, – if I'm the same skill, once I find out what the market is, because here's the thing. Okay, Amari Cooper went for a first, but Mar- Amari Cooper is 24. Mm. Pat Peterson's 28. That's that's still. And granted, he's winning the seven super uh, uh seven Pro Bowl skill, but that's still a four-year age gap. Mm-hmm. So the question is, is he going for a one? Is he going for two twos, a two and a four? I mean, what's what's going to be the going rate? Mm-hmm. If I'm Arizona, I'm asking for because I really want to keep it. But I'm gonna ask for as much as I possibly can. Yep. Because I'm in rebuild mode, too. So I need to get Josh Rosen. I need to get as much help in here as I possibly can. Yep. So I'm going to try to flee somebody. Okay. You want him? How much are you willing yeah. to pay? Well, Howie Rosen will probably just go get him. And I will be the first to admit that would dilute some of the impact of Amari Cooper in yeah. Dallas. Because you know and I know what was going to happen. They're going to play twice now. They haven't played yet. And we're going to see Patrick Peterson, if it comes to this, sure. on Amari Cooper, right? Oh. That's what you would see all game long. Yeah, and that's what... And that's what it, the prices go up, Skip, when more than one person is bidding on something. When I was in Baltimore, Skip, I was, going to, I was selling my house. And I asked for this astronomical price because I was on the golf course. I don't play golf, but I, you know, I, I always wanted to live on the golf course. Yeah. Look, at my, look out my back window. There's the green right there, people walking. So I put the house up on the market. Mm. Lady's like, you're probably not going to get it, but hey, well, let's, let's just see what happened. Guess what happened? I put it up one day on a Monday. Seven people by Tuesday wanted to look at old Shea Sharp house. Really? Well, since I put well, up a Maybe this, it was because it was your house. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Whatever yeah. it was, I said, I want an extra 15 oh. grand. Oh, really? And guess what they said? Cash us out. Uh. I'll be out of here tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. So that's why you're living up on the hillside in Bel Air. No, 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 the hillside. Really? I'm down a little in the ravine of Homby. Oh. oh. Homby Hill. Yeah. Okay. Stop telling everybody where I live. But nobody's going to go to your house. There are a bunch of houses at home. I'm moving. You're moving. I'm going to Malibu. I'm about, I'm about to be booed up nobody, at Malibu. Nobody cares. It's too long of a drive. You don't want to be in Malibu. But it's so nice overlooking the oceans. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So at 3.30, you want to drive all the way no. to Malibu? Okay, I'll stay, I'll stay uh, where I am. I'll okay, stay put. I think you should stay put. But, it's, I mean, the ocean. Can you imagine, Skip? Yeah. The, the uh, waves you, just... Sounds go, great. <sighs> Different the, the budgets view. for us. Yeah. But what, if I go up in, what if I go up in the hills? The house, remember the house we saw in the Hollywood Hills? <sighs> I'd live there. Yeah, I bet you. Well, I, bet I you. would. I don't know I if would. you guys could. I wouldn't like this. to drive down. No, the no, 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 no. You wouldn't like to drive down. Mm-hmm. But that was unbelievable. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. Healy, mm-hmm. win. Yeah. I need a raise. Mm-hmm. A little yeah. one. New house no, coming. No, no, both these guys. Never mind. Never mind. I'm about to win this 1.6 billion. Keep your money. I'm doing oh, okay. it for free. Yeah, me too. I think I'm, I'm doing it for free. Did you buy your ticket yet? No, I don't do that. Ernest Come does. on, it's I'm worth it. it. Skip, I already got you a nice gift. I'm going to buy you a nice gift. <laughs> yeah! Oh, you already thought of it. Yeah. But you're not going to I'm going to win this money. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get you a nice Z. Okay. I'm going to get me one, too. Really? We'll race every morning coming to work.
Really? Yeah, we see who the better driver is. Oh, well. I'll take one. Too. Yeah. I got me some of that. <laughs> Skipper already feels like he won the lottery uh, because the Cowboys. <laughs>